It's time for Florida State basketball. This is the Leonard Hamilton Show. Brought to you by SunTrust. Learn how SunTrust can help you live for your sunny day at suntrust.com slash my sunny day. And by Coke Zero. You don't know zero till you try it. Now your hosts, Gene Deckeroff and head coach Leonard Hamilton. Welcome to the Leonard Hamilton Show. We talk Florida State basketball today. And uh, Coach Hamilton, Florida State goes on the road, knocks off Boston College, and uh, tough venue to play in, but we get a huge road win. Much needed victory this time of year for our players. I thought we were very focused. We played a very hard fought game. I thought Boston College really, really played well. They're getting better, but we go on the road and get a victory and come back home with two home games is important this time of year. Yeah, and you can build on road wins and get some confidence. And uh, with a young basketball team like we are, Coach, uh, a win on the road has to be a confidence builder. No doubt about that. Yeah, and, and a win over Boston College gets us ready for two home games that begins on Saturday at noon against the Clemson Tigers and on Monday night at 9 against North Carolina State. We'll have highlights of Florida State versus Pittsburgh, Florida State's big win at Boston College. In between the Boston College and Pittsburgh highlights, a chance for you to visit with Malik Beasley, one of the hottest freshmen in college basketball. That's on today's show. Stay with us. Welcome back to the Leonard Hamilton Show. When you're talking Florida State basketball, you're talking ACC basketball. It just doesn't get any better. And, Coach, ACC basketball comes to Tallahassee about every other day, and uh, we take on the Pittsburgh Panthers and a team that uh, is a very physical basketball team. When you play Pittsburgh, you better bring your A game and your physical game. They're a very good basketball team, Gene. There's no doubt about that. They execute very well. And uh, I thought our guys gave a full count of themselves. We led the game for almost 30 minutes, and, we just faulted right there at the end. Florida State building a lead in the first half, and Coach, uh, we get down 5 nothing. but all of a sudden we get on a tear, and the home crowd really helps energize this young basketball team. Well, there's no doubt that our guys were ready to play. We just came up a little short. I was so disappointed in this victory because our guys worked very hard to prepare it mentally and emotionally, uh, but we missed free throws. Uh, we didn't get some stops, and we had some very untimely turnovers that I thought really made the really hurt us. Against Pittsburgh, you better block out and get the rebounds. And if you get the rebounds, good things can happen, like a transition triple from one of the best shooters in the ACC. Well, Devin is doing a very good job of finding uh, a ways to give us some offense. And he, when we play him at the point guard, he runs the team very well. His experience has really been very helpful to us this year. Eighth best three-point shooter in the history of the ACC, Devin Booker. The nice stick back by Boris Bojanovsky here. Well, I'm assuming that was a pass by Terrence. It looked like it was to Boris. <laughs> and uh, Doris, Bo played has played really well once we've gotten him the ball inside. Terrence Mann has given you a really good minutes off the bench, Coach. He's a part of this rotation, isn't he? Well, there's no doubt that Terrence has been very solid for us all year long. He's one of our better defenders. He rebounds very well. Here you see Bacon getting out, getting the rebound, getting out on, on the break, uh, getting the ball to X and X. He knocks down a three. And we seem to be really comfortable playing better together, uh, communicating, creating opportunities for each other. Uh, I think our guys are finding themselves a little bit, uh, but we just couldn't finish this game, and that was very disappointing. We build a nice lead here in the first half, and uh, another good job on the defensive glass that initiates a fast break. We've got we've gotten out and transition, got some easy baskets. Here you see. Uh, X uh, giving a nice uh, pass uh, to uh, uh, Malik on, in transition. And how far away was that shot? NBA link, but leaping in there again. Uh, you talk about this young team. Malik Beasley knows where the ball is, doesn't he? Well, he has great instincts. Uh, these guys uh, have a chance to develop into a pretty good basketball team. We just need for it to happen this year. <laughs> we outscore Pittsburgh on fast break points 10 to 2, and there's a Deuce and Dwayne Bacon and Malik Beasley. It has sort of a ring to it, doesn't it? Well, there's no doubt the B&B &B boys <laughs> are, are, are making, some, uh, making some good plays. We've been doing it all year long. We watch it again. How, how strong is Dwayne Bacon? He's, he is about as physical a guard as we've had. Well, he has, a, he has a way of just finding a way how to get to the basket. Once again, he is, he is our friend. Knocking down that three. I don't know. Booker if is really shooting the ball well, very well. I don't know if it's a better pure shooter. No, he knows where an open man is too. How about the movement away from the ball? That uh, that gives us an easy basket. Well, this is we, we executed offensively by as well as we have all year. We just could not finish here at the end. Here's Dwayne taking the ball. He has a knack for finding a way to put the ball in the basket. Did he shoot from the hip on that thing? I think he did. We're up 10 points at halftime, Coach. 43-33. you got to play 40 minutes of basketball. Well, in the and Benji, Benji, Bell, Benji Bell made the assist. He really creates opportunities for his teammates very well once he goes in the game. 
One big giant step and uh, a, a long leaning layup by Malik Beasley, who continues to lead uh, all freshmen in scoring in the Atlantic Coast Conference. Watch him do it again. There's no doubt that those our, our freshmen are getting better and better. His uh, Boris uh, really working hard inside. He's had two really good games for us. Uh, we feel that he's making progress. He's coming to his own. We really need he, him as well as Jaquez to be good players for us here as we finish down the stretch of the season. Second one of those up and under reverse layups that uh, Dwayne Bacon is almost making legendary around the, the, the arena coach. Like, yeah, well, watch it. Dwayne has a way of finding a way to maneuver around and get, get inside the lane and get a basket. Defense, defense, more defense. And coach, at this point in the ball game, Pittsburgh's trying to get back into this thing, and it's a four-point ball game. And we, like you say, we lead this thing for over 30 minutes. Well, there's no doubt that we did a lot of good things in this game. But that's one thing about a young team. I'm looking out on the floor, and for the most part, we're playing with three freshmen on the floor uh, for the majority of the game. And, and then we had, but we had some timely turnovers that I thought really made a big difference. Here's a basket we had to have: 59, 58. There's no doubt that we, where we're going, we went to Dwayne and he delivered once again. Twelve big points by that talented freshman. Grew up in Lakeland, played at Oak Hill, and here's Devin Booker doing his thing. Whether he's beyond the arc or inside the arc, he's got that shooter's touch. Well, the guys are really, really learning how to create shots for each other. Very important shot by, by X, uh, Mays. Uh, he did a great good job, one-on-one, -on -one, created opportunities, some separation for himself. But here, here again, we get a big block. I think, I think if we just can get us Get one more basket, one more basket, I think we can make something happen. Bad pass here, turnover, one hand pass, one hand try to catch. And unfortunately, we came a little short. Uh, once again, we get a big rebound. We go in the basket, we get a basket, now we up, we up two, now we need a stop. We just need a stop, and unfortunately, that they made the plays uh, that we just couldn't get done. Yeah, in, inside a minute, uh, we, Get a basket there. We could have used that one about uh, 45 seconds before that one. <laughs> no we? doubt about that. We we had great shots. We had great looks. We had two really good opportunities in transition. We just came away with some turnovers, and that really cost us the game. And Pittsburgh holds on to win the ball game, 74-72. The final score. Florida State uh, so close to winning at home against Pittsburgh. Well, there's no doubt that when you when you're playing against a, a good basketball team, every possession is important. And you look at the end of the game and, and you decide that maybe something at the end of the game costs you the game. In reality, there are so many things that go on during the, life, the entire game. When you go back and look at it, a block out here, a contest here, a turnover there, a missed free throw uh, when the game's on the line, those things contribute as well. That's why we had to learn from this game, put it behind us, and let's go get prepared for the next game. Yeah. Forget about the game against Pittsburgh. Get ready for Boston College. We have highlights of Florida State's huge road win over the Eagles coming up a little later on in the show. Up next, a chance for you to meet Malik Beasley, the leading freshman scorer in the Atlantic Coast Conference. That's coming up in just a few moments. We're talking college basketball, specifically Florida State basketball, on today's Leonard Hamilton Show. And, Coach, it's the time of the program we try to get up close and personal with uh, players on this basketball team. And when you recruited Malik Beasley, a part of a tremendous signing class that we had uh, this past year, did you realize how good he could be in his first year in college basketball? We, we were very impressed with the process of how we went about recruiting him. And we went and tried to evaluate him. We just thought that his potential was out, off the chart. And we, th we thought his best basketball would be ahead of him. He's, he's a very hard worker. He has tremendous character. He's a very intelligent young man. And I think his future is very bright. He leads the ACC freshman class in scoring. He's the Seminoles' leading scorer. And he scored in double figures in every game he's played in his college career. Let's meet Malik Beasley. <laughs> Before we even started, you were out here an hour ago doing work, and I know that wasn't practice type work, that was yes, on your own. How much time are you spending in the gym on your own working on the game? Um, I try to get in every day. Um, it depends on how our practice schedule is. Say we didn't have practice, so I got in. I'm going to go in the night and then tomorrow morning uh, get some extra work in before practice starts again. You hear that from the, the, the greatest of, of basketball players. It's, it's all that extra time you put in. How much fun do you have? Being oh, extra I love time? it. Um, it it come, the results come out, and um, I've been doing really well on the court um, and helping the team out a lot. And that's what it comes out in the little things like that, working on your game on all time. 
How's Florida State been so far? Have you been here for the summer for a few games? Is it everything you kind of expected? Yeah, Florida State's been amazing, man. I love the tradition here. I love the coaching staff, basketball, academics. I love everything about Florida State. It's a great school and a great program. When did you start playing? I started playing when I was a baby. Like, like as soon as I came out the womb, I had a basketball. <laughs> so. Do you remember your first game at all? Uh, my first? No. I can't remember. So many, I don't, I don't even remember. You have a, a favorite moment growing up playing basketball? Um, in eighth grade and seventh grade, I hit two buzzer beaters in the championship, and that was one of my biggest main memories I have as a young kid. Now, what's that like? What's that? We had Michael Snare here a few yeah. years ago who hit like four or five of them. Yeah, what's yeah, that? Yeah. What, what does it feel like when you're? It's, it feels great, man. It feels uh, that you were the one who hit the shot for your team. If it was somebody else, I'd still be happy. But it's just an unreal moment to know that you're the one who did it. So you knew growing up you were going to play basketball, right? Uh, pretty much. I play a lot of other sports like baseball, football, and uh, tennis, so and golf. So uh, I just I just had a feeling I was going to play basketball when I grew up. Playing golf, what's your favorite club? We get a uh, club in your hand, a distance. I like seven, seven iron. Uh, you can control it the most, I think. I like driving the ball too, but I think seven iron is my favorite. And what about acting? Because I know yeah, my, my your parents, parents are actors, so uh, I acted a little bit. I did a little Delta commercials, uh, little commercials every now and then, movies. Uh, not really in the acting. I'm probably gonna get into it after my basketball career or even during it. What's it like having your parents involved in that? That seems pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, every now and then I see them on TV, like, wow, I'm watching TV and you see them, and that's pretty amazing to know that they're actors. Do you drop that on people? Like, you may be watching something and be like, oh, that's that's my dad or uh, that's my if, mom. If they notice them, I, um, I'll say something, but if not, I try to stay humble about it, let them figure out themselves. I don't really brag about my parents, so they don't brag about me, but of course my mom does. She brags about me a lot, but we try to stay humble in the family and keep us grounded. What's the big thing that you're working on with your game right now? Uh, ball handling. I'm working on my ball handling. That way I can, if X gets pressured, I want to be able to bring the ball up the court without with heavy confidence for myself and for the team. And that's the main thing I'm working on. All right, game on the line. Gets the number one team in the country. Ten seconds left. You want that shot? Uh, yes, I'll take the shot. But if somebody else is doing really well that game, he can have the shot and I wouldn't mind. I'll go crash the ball if he shoots it. And I know he's going in, so. But yes, I, I wouldn't mind taking the shot. I, I love the pressure, and I love pressure bus types. I make diamonds, and I want to make some diamonds. That sounds good. Last one for me. Five, in five years, Malik Beasley is? Hopefully playing basketball still. Um, in the NBA or overseas, it doesn't matter. As long as I'm playing a game that I love, playing basketball is the main thing. Just a moment ago, you had a chance to meet Malik Beasley, and now we're going to see him in action. He leads the Seminoles on the road in Beantown, Boston College. Next up for the Florida State Seminoles, let's roll the tape and go to the Conte Forum coach. And Malik Beasley, 22 points in this ballgame. We'll watch him and his teammates work. It was always a little snow when you go up to Boston, but I thought our guys were very hot inside the, the arena. Uh, I, they really got off to a pretty good start. Uh, Boston College gave us a hard run, uh, but here you see uh, Monte Brandon getting out in transition. Uh, he hasn't been, he's had some adjust, adjustment problems uh, through the full guard lineup, but we need him to be successful if we're going to finish the season as strong because we know he's very capable. He had a great year last year. Yeah, he, he sort of broke out of a little slump that he's been in. He had six points and threw that layup. Now, Malik Beasley goes to work early, two of his 22 points. And Terrence Mann, I thought, got extended minutes in this ballgame. Well, Terrence is doing a great job in so many areas. He's our kind of utility guy. Just whatever we need, he's bringing to the table. Five points, five rebounds, two assists, and uh, Malik Beasley again. Uh, uh, he, uh, at this point, I believe that was his 11th made field goal in a row. Well, what we have here is uh, X finding him very, very easy. And there's no doubt that anytime you can get a pass uh, when you in rhythm, uh, rhythm jump shot's good. Once again, there's our man Terrence going to the boards, getting the put back and finishing with a free throw. And, and a breakout game for Jarquez Smith, back-to-back uh, -back three point plays, and Jarquez begins this game with a flurry and ends it with a flurry. There's no doubt that we need him to play consistent, a little bit more consistent. They have, what, 13 points and 
nine rebounds and five block shots. Those are starters statistics in anybody's book. We need him to be consistent with that effort. Yeah, he, five block shots in the game, and in transition, Malik Beasley shows he can elevate, and uh, there, there they go those two freshmen again. So that was a Bacon. great, great pass by Bacon. He put the ball right on the money, right where he could pick it up and go right to the basket. He didn't even have to put the ball on the floor. You don't, you don't see those little things. That's a great pass. Bacon is really developing to a really good pass. Now, XRM plays the point. His little runner is no good, but uh, look at this leap in the rebound, offensive rebound work, Coach. We dominated the offensive glass. Well, we knew going into the game that we had to get some second shots, and here we are in that battling on the boards, and that really made a big difference in the game. You mentioned Jacquez Smith, uh, stats stuffing, ball game nine, uh, 13 points, nine rebounds, a, a career best in rebounds. And five block shots. And that, that, that type, that'll help you in any time you can get a player that can come off the bench and contribute like that. That gives you a great chance to be successful. Yeah, in just 27 minutes of play. And again, Malik Beasley, he's got a sweet spot on that uh, court beyond the yard, doesn't he? Once again, his teammates are looking for him, and he's had to catch and put it in the basket, which he's doing very well. He's made 35 three-point shots, had nearly a handful against Boston College. Great vision by, by Mays, uh, finding uh, Boris, uh, setting the screen and rolling to the basket once again. Yeah, baking out in transition, moving the ball, making an extra pass. There you go. Mays again, finding Boris rolling to the basket. Those type of plays are winning plays. And these kind of baskets really, really give you momentum, especially when you're on the road. A no-look pass from XRM to Boris Bojanovsky. Two quick baskets, and BC took a timeout. We are up, uh, up, up nearly double digits here. There's a, a Mate being very, very aggressive. We, we need his experience. He's been here four years. He's been, been starters all four years. There's no doubt that we need his play. Yeah, nice pass. Well, that's, three, that's, that's, that's a great finish by him. And uh, I think we have about three layups in a row, maybe four now. Uh, Going to get the stick back. And Bacon battling. Uh, he has a career-high 14 rebounds. I think he got three on this particular play. <laughs> but we, we needed that. We need the inside toughness and the physicality that he brought to the table. Nobody steals the ball better in a garnet uniform than Devin Booker. That ignites a fast break, easy deuce. But that's once, once again, this Devin finding his teammate in transition. These guys are really looking for each other, playing extremely unselfish. Yeah, Devin, but watch it again. This is a pretty pass right above the rim, and Malik Beasley just knows how to finish, doesn't he? Another pass to the teammate. These types of unselfish plays would give us an opportunity to take advantage of our talents and reach our full potential. Watch it again. Coach, do we keep track of the number of dunks we have in a ball game? No, <laughs> not really. Because we may have had more dunks in this game than right. any game we played right this year. Right now, we try to keep track of how many games we win. That's important. That, that's probably the most important step. But I was just saying, well, there's about three or four slam dunks in a row. And again, here's well, if you don't slam dunk, get it to number one. Huh? But once again, I think in this game, X had nine assists, I believe. Nine assists. And here, here he's doing a great job looking for his teammates. He is the leader in the Atlantic Coast Conference in assists, nearly six assists a ball game. And in this ball game, he goes over 100 assists on the season. That's a big number. No doubt about that. I mean, we, that's the, the, team, the way we're developing as a team, to get guys looking for each other, making an extra pass, finishing plays, shoot, getting high percentage shots. Those are winning combinations. And it's uh, XRM's first season as the true point guard. I think he's developing into that position. Coach, we shoot, well, we, we, we shoot not as well as we did against Pittsburgh, but you like the result a whole lot better, don't you? There's no doubt. that uh, I thought we moved the ball very well. We made the extra pass. We had uh, 17 assists on the road. We out rebounded by 18 rebounds. And when we did miss shots, we went back and we fought very hard and got the extra shot, got the putbacks, got to the foul line. Got the extra points from, on putbacks and on the road. Those types of formulas will re work very well for you. Road wins are very rare in the Atlantic Coast Conference. That's one to remember. Florida State beats Boston College on the road at the Conte Forum. Up next, two big home games. We'll talk about FSU versus Clemson and FSU versus North Carolina State in just a moment. A busy week ahead for the Florida State Seminoles, and it starts at 12 high noon on Saturday. And, Coach, it's all ACC the rest of the way. We uh, start the week with Clemson at noon. Every game is very important now, Gene. We have to be mentally and emotionally prepared. This is a very tough game. Clemson's been on a roll. we got to make sure we take care of Ben's and, and we come away with a victory. Clemson may be the surprise team in the ACC. They've held serve at home. They knocked off three ranked teams in a row. They beat us 
in our first ACC game, and now we meet them at the halfway point. They're all the more mature team. They make very few mistakes, and they're doing a great job for Coach Brownell. That game's at noon, and on Monday, it's North Carolina State at the uh, Tucker Center. We play a 9 o'clock game Monday. Well, we need a little more time to prepare. <laughs> All right. Two big ball games coming up. We hope to see you at the Tucker Center when Florida State hosts Clemson and North Carolina State. That's our show for this week. Join us again next week, and we'll talk more Florida State basketball on the Leonard Hamilton Show. See you then. This has been the Leonard Hamilton Show, brought to you by SunTrust. Learn how SunTrust can help you live for your sunny day at suntrust.com slash mysunnyday. And by Coke Zero. You don't know Zero till you've tried it.